what you're seeing is only a tiny sampling of the more than 2,000 journalists, photographers, and publications that are part and parcel of the more than 30 years of excellence in travel journalism history as previous winners of the Lowell Thomas Travel Journalism Competition held each year by the Society of American Travel Writers Foundation. Today, another distinguished group of travel professionals will be added to this illustrious honor roll as we present the latest winners in this prestigious competition. Selecting the best from the best from more than 1,300 entries has been the unenviable task of judges from the University of Missouri School of Journalism. We're proud to present their selections, the creme de la creme, the 2016 winners of the Lowell Thomas Travel Journalism Awards. We begin with the winning entries for Best Travel Blog. Taking honorable mention is SATW member Liz Carlson for YoungAdventurous.com. The Bronze Award goes to Lola Aachenmaid Okenstrom. Also an SATW member for SlowTravelStockholm.com. Winning Silver, Sharon Boston for NerdTrips.net. And the gold blog is from SATW member Jody Ettenberg for LegalNomads.com. Jody is a lawyer, a world traveler, and a true food connoisseur. She brings elements of all three roles to a creative blog delivering surprising and original content with an extraordinary sense of place. Her personal experiences drive the writing, which is always focused on the interesting places, the fascinating people, and the extraordinary meals she finds on her travels. In the competition for Best Travel Journalism website, winning bronze is maphappy.org. Erica Ho, publisher, and David Lytle, editor. The silver winner is outsideonline.com slash adventure travel from outside scott rosenfield editor and the top travel journalism website is bbc.com slash travel allison busaka editor and satw member and banas deputy editor the bbc takes visitors off the beaten path with compelling text eye-catching photography and high energy video with just three clicks of a mouse button, you can find stories ranging from the death of the pastrami sandwich to the abandoned mansions of billionaires and even India's infamous sex temples. The Bronze Award winning travel guidebook is resting easy in the U.S. Unique lodging options for wheelers and slow walkers by SATW member Candy Harrington with photography by Charles Pennell. The silver goes to Photos Brooklyn and the staff of Photos Travel. And the Gold Travel Guidebook is Travels Through American History in the Mid-Atlantic, A Guide for All Ages by Charles W. Mitchell from Johns Hopkins University Press. Charles offers a serious and scholarly narrative on the special qualities of 16 historic sites and regions on or near the East Coast. The depth of each chapter and the learned accessible prose distinguish the winner from the typical guidebook. In the category of Best Travel Book, SATW member David Noyes takes bronze for The Photographing Tourist, a storyteller's guide to travel and photography from the DF Noyes Studios. Taking silver, George Steinmetz for New York Air, The View from Above, published by Abrams Books. The gold-winning travel book award belongs to Matt Golding for Rice, Noodle, Fish, Deep Travels Through Japan's Food Culture, Publishers, Roads and Kingdoms, and HarperCollins. This story is about far more than food. It's about devotion. Matt knows Japan and with compelling writing and gorgeous photography explores the dedication of the Japanese to a quiet pursuit of perfection in all things edible. And speaking of food, in the new category of culinary related travel, a bronze award goes to Shira Rubin for Land of Pork and Honey. Pork in Israel? Hmm. From Roads and Kingdoms. Tim Neville takes silver for Rights of the Ko Clan, an exploration of fondue mastery from Ski Magazine. Winning gold is Tian Lan Ho for Winter Worm, Summer Grass in Lucky Peach Magazine. From the Tibetan Plateau, this is a quiet, sinuous story of a part caterpillar, part fungus organism found there, with an intimate portrait of a Tibetan family and a window into Tibetan culture. In the category of best short work on travel, bronze belongs to SATW member Christopher P. Baker for My City, Cuba on the Cusp in National Geographic Traveler. Silver is presented to SATW member Don George for Finding Peace in 21st Century Kyoto on the National Geographic Intelligent Travel Blog. 
And gold in the category goes to SATW member Melanie Radzicki McManus for Island Disputes in Islands Magazine. In a light, funny, and very readable narrative, readers learn about disputed territories claimed by more than one country. Case in point, this tiny rocky island off the coast of Maine claimed by both the U.S. and Canada. The Puffins may claim dual citizenship. Special Purpose Travel Awards include an honorable mention earned by Maureen Orth for how the Virgin Mary became the world's most powerful woman in National Geographic. SATW member Michelle Bigley takes bronze for nurturing romance in California's Carmel Valley in the Boston Globe. The Silver Award winner is J.K. Nickel for Freedom Riders in Southwest, the magazine. And the Gold Special Purpose Travel Award belongs to Peter Frick Wright for cash money in Outside. The story is based on a chest reported to contain a million dollars in gold and a detective who has a vague poem as a clue to its location. 30,000 people have already looked for it. Peter makes all the right moves in a wild tale that unfolds like a classic detective story. Next, the winners for best personal comment stories. Winning bronze, Joseph Berger for In Poland Searching for Jewish Heritage in the New York Times. Marcia De Sanctus takes silver for Time or the Sahara Wind, a poignant story on the fragility of life impacted by Alzheimer's in Tales to Go. Gold is presented to Kim Cross for The King of Tides in Southwest, the magazine. With lively writing and genuine emotion, Kim shares how a fishing line became the tie that binds father and daughter in a warm and descriptive account of her return to the rivers of her youth. Next are the awards for cultural tourism, and an honorable mention recognition goes to Elizabeth Eves for A Hundred Cities Within Seoul in the New York Times. Michael Cross wins bronze for Mexico City is one of the world's greatest cultural destinations. So what are you waiting for in departures? The Silver Award goes to Tara Isabella Burton for Cafe Society, a National Geographic Traveler. And winning gold for cultural tourism, Thomas Chatterton Williams for In Another Country in Smithsonian Journeys. Although the story focuses on black Americans in Paris, the focus is on deep-rooted cultural perceptions and the complexities of racism that extend beyond black and white. In the area of environmental tourism, Beth Ann Finnelly earns bronze for Flight Pattern, the migratory story of the ruby-throated hummingbird in Garden and Gun. Silver belongs to Christopher Solomon for Can Montana Smith River Survive a Nearby Mine in the New York Times. And the top environmental journalism article is by Joel Clement, Kio Kio Economy, Can Bone Fishing Help Ana'a Atoll in the Fly Fish Journal. Joel does an excellent job placing readers in the moment on this tiny speck in the South Pacific as he considers serious environmental issues and sociological discussions along with a traditional travel experience to the crystalline waters, sandy beaches, and the hard-fighting bonefish of Ana'a Atoll. For best service-oriented consumer articles, winning bronze is SATW member Millie Ball for tips to ease the journey when traveling with portable medical devices needing power in the Los Angeles Times. Winning silver, Kate Cyber for This Is How You Do It in Outside. The gold-winning article is from SATW member Carrie Bardnachuk. Separation, adaptation, with planning and socks. Kids will be all right when you travel without them. In the Boston Globe. This is the type of article parents may read to each other over Sunday brunch. There are must-read insights from traveling parents with quotes and advice from experts and travelers alike. Oh, and grandparents may like it too. For Travel News Investigative Reporting, the Bronze Award is presented to David Koenig and Scott Mayorowitz for Airlines Carb U.S. into markets dominated by one or two carriers for the Associated Press. Silver belongs to Jeff Greenwald for Nepal, We Shall Rise Again in Travel Weekly. Gold is awarded to SATW member Bill Fink for To Hunt or Not To Hunt. That is the question on Yahoo Travel. Dealing with a very complicated subject, Bill weighs the many questions and controversies about licensing big game hunting. He does a stellar job analyzing the many sides and approaches to a difficult issue. 
In the coverage of Adventure Travel, winning honorable mention is SATW member David Noyes for the Everest Highway in Travel Plus. Winning bronze, Joyce Maynard for Peak Experience in National Geographic Traveler. Taking silver, Tim Neville and Skiing Kosovo, abandoned lifts and all in the New York Times. And the gold adventure travel article is from Bill Donahue. Kindergarten can wait in Backpacker. Bill shares the story of Christian Thomas, a five-year-old hiking wonder kid who, after through hiking the Appalachian Trail with his parents, takes to the Pacific Crest Trail. It's a surprising and touching story about travel, nature, and family. On the subject of cruise travel, winning bronze is Kim Brown Seeley for A World Away in Virtuoso Life. The Silver Award goes to Aaron Gully for Uncharted Territory, also in Virtuoso Life. And the gold-winning cruise travel article from Tara Isabella Burton is Gently Down the Stream in National Geographic Traveler. In a read nearly as entertaining as the trip itself, Tara treats readers to a one-week cruise down the Oxford Canal. With lovely turns of phrase and informative personal insight, the English countryside comes alive with fascinating details and engaging anecdotes from this unique and very special cruise. In a very engaging category of special packages and projects, receiving honorable mention is the staff of the New York Times for 52 Places to Go in 2016. Taking bronze, SATW member Elizabeth Harriman, Leslie Miko Yap, and Eric Van Eyck for We Salute the National Park Service Centennial in Westways. And the silver award belongs to Dave Simonera and Ellie Cobb for announcing 2015's Travel Pioneers on BBC Travel. Gold in the category goes to Ryan Bell for Comrade Cowboys, a series of online stories, photos, and podcasts from the Fulbright National Geographic Digital Storytelling Fellowship. In the series, Ryan sheds light on how American cowboys helped revitalize Russia's meat industry following the collapse of the Soviet Union, training Russians who wanted to become cattle farmers. As a first-person cowboy participant, Ryan is in a unique position to take readers into unknown and unexpected territories. Moving now to the best photo illustrations of a travel story, the Bronze Award winner is SATW member Susan Portnoy for 15 incredible photos of a tribe you've probably never heard of in Take Part. Silver goes to SATW member Dave Booskill for Meteora Magic and Photos, Sacred Monasteries on Monoliths on the planetd.com. And winning gold is Catherine Carnow for The Glow of Vietnam in National Geographic Traveler. Catherine provides readers with stunning images of Vietnam in photos that reflect the rise of the young and capitalistic culture sweeping that country. Images such as the poignant photo of two women shown in the reflection of the Gucci window seem to perfectly sum up that nation's rapid transition. For best work on foreign travel, an honorable mention goes to Edward Riedeker Henderson for Dreamweavers in Afar. Winning bronze, SATW member Catherine Watson and a return visitor to Cuba is drawn to its contradictions for the Los Angeles Times. The silver award goes to Ellen Heimelfarb for On Holiday with the Mob in the UK's Sunday Times Travel Magazine. And the gold winner in the category is Sarah Khan for Seven Days, 1500 Miles in Namibia in the New York Times. The story features both excellent structure and charming wit. It's all about trekking through Namibia in a 4x4 and offers a series of vignettes which will have the reader feeling as if they're part of the adventure. Helpful information is woven into the story and included in detailed lists at the end. On the subject of U.S. and Canadian travel, the Bronze Award goes to Sandy Lang for Shebig, Island Town So Near, in Maine Magazine. Winning silver, Susan Nurberg for In Your Wildest Streams from Air Canada in Root Magazine. And the gold winner is Michael Callahan for Small Town Big Story, Monroeville, Alabama, in Departures. Amidst some debate on the new novel by Harper Lee of To Kill a Mockingbird fame, this is a story that offers a literary journey to the town where it all began. The writing sparkles and offers readers a tantalizing taste of this gem of a town. 
in the category for Best Travel Audio. Honorable mention goes to SATW member Bob Howells for Just Ahead, Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Parks from Just Ahead Audio Guidebooks. The Bronze Award winner is Thomas C. Wilmer for Ann Arbor, Arts, Culture, and History, a National Public Radio podcast. The silver audio comes from SATW members Tanya Fitzpatrick and Ian Fitzpatrick for In the Footsteps of Birmingham Civil Rights Movement for World Footprints Media. And winning gold in the audio category is Aaron Teasdale for Just Ahead Yellowstone National Park, another Just Ahead audio guidebook. With the Just Ahead app, Aaron takes listeners on a tour with a level of detail you can see while you listen. So buckle up as Aaron takes us on an engaging ride through America's first national park. Next, the winning travel videos. Honorable mention goes to Scott Mayorowitz for Labor Day flying behind the scenes at a busy airport for the Associated Press. Taking bronze, Lee Cohen, Dustin Stevens, Laura Barnello, and Mike Hernandez for Aurora Borealis on CBS Sunday Morning. The silver winner is Bob Christ, his video, Gombies Behind the Mask for National Geographic Traveler. And the gold-winning video is from Lee Cohen, Dustin Stevens, David Baggett, and Mike Hernandez. It's Northern Exposure on CBS Sunday Morning. This video segment explores the majesty and the vulnerability of the Arctic's apex predator, the polar bear. The broadcast captures a sense of place on the northern tundra and in the town of Churchill, Manitoba, combining lovely videography with elegant writing to tell a compelling story with implications far beyond the polar bear's home. For travel coverage in magazines that are not specifically travel-oriented, the Bronze Award goes to Private Clubs, SATW member Don Nichols, Editor-in-Chief. The Silver Award winner is Departures, Richard David Story, Editor-in-Chief. And taking gold is Coastal Living, Steele Thomas Marco, Editor-in-Chief. Coastal Living's travel content is presented in well-designed pages with lots of visual and varied content, breezy writing and personable bright photographs coupled with engaging subjects make this magazine a winner. The magazine's recurring navigator section is packed with useful information and travel features that cover all the bases, where to stay, what to wear, as well as what to eat and do. In the competition for best travel magazine, the Bronze Award winner is Southbound. SATW member Kevin Benefield, Editor-in-Chief. Silver goes to Afar, Julia Cosgrove, Editor-in-Chief. And winning gold as the top travel magazine for the second year in a row is National Geographic Traveler, Maggie Zakowitz, Editor-in-Chief. Traveler issues burst with excitement about the wonder of travel. Content is inspiring, yet grounded in the service details that readers want to know. There are regular departments, like The Notebook, offering a variety of takes on unique destinations, such as secluded hot springs, worldwide Van Gogh museums, and cities ideal for running. Feature stories are thoroughly reported and interestingly written with beautiful supporting photography. It's no surprise that Traveler is repeatedly at the top of the list of outstanding travel magazines. Next, the awards for newspaper travel coverage. As fewer newspapers have dedicated travel sections today, the SATW Foundation has selected a new approach to honor this important print media. Beginning this year, the Foundation is recognizing newspapers for a portfolio of travel coverage, a collection of their best work, rather than for specific travel sections. Also beginning this year, all newspapers are considered in one category, regardless of circulation size. The Bronze Newspaper Travel Award goes to the San Francisco Chronicle, SATW member Spud Hilton, Travel Editor. The Silver Award goes to the New York Times, SATW member Monica Drake, Travel Editor. Taking gold in the category, the Los Angeles Times, SATW member Catherine Ham, Travel Editor. An off-stated goal of Los Angeles Times Travel is to write about what is important to the readers, and really, truly, it does. The articles are deep and wide and solid with accompanying maps and additional information online. Stories are well-researched and inviting with both local and international travel scenes. Even Disney, yes, Disney, 60 years strong and still the elephant in the Los Angeles travel sphere, is recognized by the Times, which acknowledges its weight in the community. 
It's obvious from the Times Travel section that the Times cares about its readers. For more than five decades, the voice of Lowell Thomas was the most recognized and most listened to in the world. He was more than a reporter on radio and television. He was an explorer who sought to know more about this world than anyone ever has. With books, magazine stories, radio and television specials, and film travelogues, he enabled a worldwide audience to travel with him and share adventures in virtually every corner of the globe and to gain a greater understanding of the world in which we live. It's the Lowell Thomas Standard of Excellence that is the criteria for selecting our Grand Award winner. The SATW Foundation is proud to present three travel professionals who measure up as the finalists in the 2016 competition for the coveted title, Travel Journalist of the Year. Winning bronze, freelance photographer, writer, and author, Peter Gutman. Peter has an amazing range with an uncanny ability to tell stories with his outstanding photography. His books, his video podcast, and especially his superb photography demonstrate why he is the bronze winner in the Travel Journalist of the Year competition. The Silver Award winner is freelance writer Kim Brown Seeley. From luxury cruises to lists of best lodges, from dude ranch stays to ski trips, Kim brings a reporter's eye and a writer's ear to her craft. Her narratives are full of anecdotes and scenes as she takes her readers from the dude ranch to the mountaintop with fascinating stops in between. And although she puts herself in her stories, her stories are not really about her. She makes travel personal for her readers. Her work is both informative and entertaining. And now, the grand prize winner, already a gold award winner in this competition for audio coverage of travel. Taking gold as the 2016 Travel Journalist of the Year is freelance writer, photographer, and audio-video commentator, Aaron Teasdale. Aaron believes that if you want to write for cyclists, skiers, paddlers, climbers, whoever, you've got to live it. He hurdles down mountainsides on bicycles, skis where others don't, and camps in Glacier National Park in the dead of winter. His stories expertly capture the tension and excitement of travel adventures, and his readers ride along with him. Mind you, he can also do the meat and potato travel stories, but whatever he covers, you know that his narrative will build with character, tension, and resolution. He earns the title and is the 2016 Lowell Thomas Travel Journalist of the Year. Congratulations to Aaron Teasdale and all winners in the 2016 Lowell Thomas Travel Journalism Competition. The sustainability of this competition is supported by a generous contribution from the Carnival Corporation, our first gold level sponsor. The SATW Foundation appreciates the contribution from Carnival and the donations made by so many SATW members in support of its goal to recognize and reward outstanding travel journalism. We invite you to enter and be part of this presentation. Winners are announced for the 2017 Lowell Thomas Travel Journalism Awards in Madrid, Spain. We'll see you there.